Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So in the series of high speed design tricks, today we are going to understand about the basics of signal integrity. So what is signal integrity and why do we need signal integrity? So these two topics today we will understand, right? So so the first question arises in the in the high speed design is what is signal integrity right what is the signal integrity this is the first question which comes in our mind so basically signal integrity is the ability of signal to propagate without distortion okay so the ability of signal to propagate without distortion or in other word you can say the quality of signals passing through a transmission line okay so that is basically that is what that is a signal integrity the quality of the signals passing through a transmission line okay so so in the in the signal integrity it is also known as si si is a measurement of an electrical signal in the PCB. Okay, so what is PCB? PCB is a printed circuit board. So uh, SI is basically a measurement of electrical signal in the PCB. So if you talk about the speed and distance, so with the lower speed and shorter distance, a signal can travel without any distortion, and with the higher speed and longer distance a signal can be degraded and it it can cause the the undesired signal the ringing of the signal the reflection of the signal the crosstalk of the signal and there might be a ground bounce so let us understand let us take one example and see how uh, what is signal integrity let us say you have this signal this is very clean signal you can say you have this signal and this is very clean signal and on this signal let us say this signal is called a so this is very clean signal and you have noise here this is called b so you can see the noise can be in the form of like this okay this is the noise and if you if you add both signal and noise let us it is denoted by c so c equals to a plus b if you do a and a plus b so you can see what is the impact of the signal in your noise what is the impact of the noise in your actual signal so your actual signal was very clean then there is a superimposed noises superimposed on actual signal and now it it is it looks like that so this may cause the failure of your product it may sometime it may works uh, in the prototype and some and then after that at the mass manufacturing your device may not work so it's better to solve the signal integrity issue uh, during the time of design pcb design okay so there won't be any issue in the mass production right so uh, when when a signal can be set to lost its integrity okay so if if it gets distorted and its shape changes to undesired shape so it can be said the signal has lots lost its integrity any unwanted noise we have discussed in the last slide any unwanted noise can be superimposed with the signal and it can degrade degrades the sn ratio that is signal to noise ratio of electrical signal okay and in other it can it can also create noise and it may impact to other signals so there is a two things one thing is 
your actual signal can be superimposed with the noise with the noise and it degrade the SN ratio of your signal to noise ratio of your electrical signal and it can also create a noise which may impact to the to the other signal. 